Kenya lady 2318 from the first leg win achieved two weeks ago in Kampala and sought to finish the work in Nairobi, but they found the going tough right from kickoff when Uganda raised to a 10 nil lead in the opening minutes of the encounter. <laughs> But Kenya responded, reducing the deficit with a penalty kick before Darwin Mukiza touched down to narrow the gap to 8-10. Darwin grabbed his second try of the match minutes later to hand Kenya the lead for the first time in the game. But Uganda, who enjoyed possession and looked dangerous on attack, leveled the score to send the match into the breather with both teams tying 13 all. Uganda came back a rejuvenated side and went ahead 2016 immediately after restart. Jacob Uje touched down to restore Kenya's lead, but Uganda wasn't done yet scoring two penalty kicks and two tries to ascend to a 33-31 lead with five minutes remaining. However, Kenya could not let their 10th Elgon Cup sleep at home as they scored a last-minute converted try to level the score 33 all. Look hard on our set pieces, the scrums in the lineouts, but um, obviously today our defence let us down. Uh, especially uh, kick chase, let us down a bit, uh, but now we know what to work on. And um, yeah, but uh, I think it's a true reflection of the game. The draw today was a true reflection, so it's good. Put in more hard work in the training, especially on our, on our defense, and we'll be good to go with the rest of the games in the Gold Cup. Yeah. Yes. And that's how it stood, and the match ended with both teams tying 33. Both teams shared spoils in the Africa Gold Cup contention, with Kenya set to host Tunisia in its second match on 7th of July at RFU Grounds in Nairobi. Kenya will also battle Namibia and Zimbabwe away for hosting Senegal in its quest to clinch the elusive African title. Bernard Okumu, the sport at nine.